Hey everybody, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy and Plugin Review Friday, where every Friday I show you a new plugin, we walk through its feature set, and I show you how to apply it to a mix so you can make professional sounding mixes in your home studio. Okay, before we get started, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a few free gifts I want to give you that is absolutely going to help you make better music in your home studio. So stick around. Okay, everybody. Hey, welcome. So this week on Plugin Review Friday, we're going to take a look at a cool, um, another one of these console, analog console emulation plugins. This is a company called United, and um, this is called the Front DAW. Um, one of my students over at MixingMadeEasy.net, links will be in the description box below if you want to check that out, um, recommended this to me instead of I've ever heard of it. And I had never heard of it. I've never really used any of their United plugins. So I thought I would demo it and check it out. Real simple plugin to use, really cool. So we're gonna take a listen to this on some drums, bass, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and some keyboard buses, and then we're gonna compare it quickly to my favorite console emulation plugin, at least up till this point, which is the Slate Digital VCC. We'll just kind of compare the two. Um, so that'll be really cool. So anyway, so this is again, this is the front DAW. Now basically what this plugin is aiming to do is to, for DAW users, to put this across all of your single tracks, like we much would with the VCC, um, or the Waves NLS, or any one of those kinds of plugins, and um, put it as the first plugin in your insert chain to kind of give you the emulation of you running your digital audio signal through a console. And they have a real simple plugin here. Um, at the top here, they have the, uh, the inputs. Okay, and this says activate because I'm running it in demo mode. You'd click this to activate it and buy the license if you want it. And they have three consoles, a British console, a USA console, and a German console. Kind of figure out what that is. They have a high pass uh, filter here. Okay, which is cool. And then they have this red button called the Mojo. And the Mojo is going to give you some more harmonic distortion, a little bit more color. And we'll look at that. The other thing I like about this plugin, and I say this every time I see one of these plugin manufacturers do this, and I commend them for this, this is a sizable resizable a user interface. You just kind of click it and drag it. You can make it as big as you want. So you can see it on the screen. Very, very cool. So now if you go out to their website here, and I'll put the link in the description box here, this is uh, $49 and you can read all about it here. Again, it's, you know, what the key features are and so on and so forth. Now, one really cool thing they say they kind of have under the hood here is this thing called VRAM, V-A-R-M, VRAM. And this is, um, they wanted to make sure that they it, that RAM stands for Variable Analog Random Modeling Technology, which basically means that they've um, that every channel on a console is going to sound a little different. So, in other words, if you had a real, let's say, an SSL console, for example, a 48 uh, channel console, every one of those channels is going to sound a little different because the analog circuitry in those are all a little different. The tolerances are all a little different. Some of them over the course of time, the, the tolerances become even greater between the channels and therefore they're going to sound a little bit different, a little bit unique. So what they did here is as you put these across all your tracks, every one of the instance of the plugin is going to have a little bit of a different uh, algorithm, if you will, under the hood to give you that little subtle difference. Okay. And so that's, that's kind of what they've done here, which is cool. And you can read all about it. It's really, really pretty simple. You could demo it for 15 days. Again, you can go out to their website and check it out. This is not a sponsored video. I just figured I'd pass it along to you as one of my students passed it along to me. Okay, so here we go. So right now I have this loaded up on an unmixed song, completely unmixed, and I like to do this with these plugins this way so you can really hear what the plugin is doing. And I have a drum, I put this on our buses here, five buses, drum bus, bass, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, keyboards. Okay, and I have it loaded up on all these tracks. I just dropped it on in its default setting. So let's listen to what it sounds like in its default setting. Now I also have um, above it, which is turned off right now, the virtual mix bus portion of the VCC by Slate Digital, because we're going to compare it to that in a few seconds here. But that's the first plugin in the chain, and you can see the power light is turned off, and we're just listening to the uh, to the front DAW here. So let's just hear what it sounds like just on some music without even changing any settings. Let's just see, and I'll just kind of bypass them all, all at once so you can kind of hear what it what it does. So just keep your eye on the power button.
that's before. Okay, so that's what it kind of does. And you can see this little uh, logo up here is kind of flashing in the background. That's kind of giving you um, an indicator of how much signal and how hard you're hitting this plugin. Um, so let's just listen to it on drums. And, and I'll, first I'll say right up front, the one thing that I don't like about this plugin is as you increase the input to hit the plugin a little bit harder, if you will, and we'll see that in a second, it doesn't compensate and turn down the output. So in, inherently you can't really level match the plugin which again, just so you know that, okay? Um, and they also have some presets here that you can check out as well, which we won't do in this video. So here it is on drums. So again, it's off and as I turn it up, you'll see the signal get louder. So if I bypass it, you can see how much quieter it gets. There's no way to compensate for that. And typically the way you like to hit these plugins, and I wish this one had a meter on it, you wanna to try to drive it you know, a little bit to kinda, of, the more signal you push into this, the more of the, the, the uh, audible difference you're gonna hear um, and the more coloration and saturation that you're gonna get. But anyway, so just keep in mind that things are gonna be louder, you can't level match it, but that's okay. So let's just switch between the consoles. We're on the USA right now. There's the British. There's a German. So the, the British in the USA console sound very similar or more similar. There's a, a little more subtle difference between the two. The German console tends to have a little bit more of that upper mid range where you can hear a little bit more openness there. Um, and now we have the mojo. So if we play with the mojo, what does that do? Let it kind of loop around here. Less mojo. Again, increases the volume a little bit as well. We can also use this uh, high pass filter. So the German seems to have the most color to me, a little bit more exciting sounding, again, to my personal taste. Now if we bypass it. Okay, so big volume difference. Okay, so that's on drums, you get the idea. So now let's just, we'll go to bass quickly and then we'll, let's go to bass and let's see. Oh, so we can resize it. Cool. So let's try to drive this a little more. So we can also turn up the individual bass track to kind of hit this bus a little harder. And I realize we're not really gain staging here very well. in mind on an individual bus or an individual track, it's gonna be much more subtle. It's really an accumulative effect thing, right? So if you had 30 tracks in your session, you put this across all 30 of your tracks, turning them on and off in A being is gonna be a much bigger difference. And that's really the way this is intended to be used. You're not really gonna hear it on a single track. It's really made to be put across a bunch of tracks. Now we're only doing five here, but you get the idea. So again, the German to me sounds like it's got the most color to it, or at least to my mind, to our do acoustic guitars here. Let's see what we got. So 
So again, let's turn up our acoustic guitar tracks and hit this plugin a little bit harder. Oops, here we go. Let's turn this up a little. Let's do some keyboards, like a B3 here, and a piano is kind of mixed into the same bus here, just keep that in mind. Give it a little more mojo. Before, after. Definitely gives it a little bit, a lot more bottom end. I realize that it's louder, hence can't level match the plugin, but you can definitely hear the character and the richness that it kind of adds to the sounds. Now let's compare that conversely to the VCC by Slate Digital. So I have the VCC on here and I just pick the what the SSL console, I kind of tried to make sure we hit it, you know, fairly hard, but again, it's going to be a little quieter than the front DAW. We'll have to listen to that just to see if we can hear what the differences are. What are the subtle differences? Now, again, I know it's, they're modeling different consoles. I know it's not going to, it's not a real true AB comparison. I guess what I want to try to show you is that if, if you already have something like the VCC, or if you already have the NLS, or you already have another console emulation plugin, you know, does it, does it benefit you to buy something like the front DAW? That's, you know, which one, you know, just sound comparison. So here's without it and then I'll kick it in. So there's the VCC. Again, not as loud, obviously. Let's get to the drum section. Why aren't we hearing our drums here? Did I turn something off mistakenly? Or is it just because of the way the VCC? Let me just double check this. See, so it's really weird because of the way these plugins are reacting. It can't, it's hard to do a real AB comparison because we're hardly getting anything in the drums. So let's, uh, try to level matches the best we can. That's before the VCC, after. There's the front DAW. Okay, so again, just don't think just because this sounds louder that it's better. You know, it's a little bit of an unfair comparison there because of the level matching, but um, I could tell you they're very similar in sound. The VCC to me always sounds a little bit richer, a little bit more upper uh, clarity, a little bit more air. I've always personally preferred the VCC to something like this. Um, this is cool though, if you don't have the VCC and you don't have, you're not part of their subscription package for their plugins and you just want a cheap little plugin to throw across all your tracks to kind of enhance it and give you a little bit more of that, uh, you know, console feel. This is a great little plugin. I mean, it's certainly the price is right. And you do have three different selections, even though, you know, like I said, the British and the USA found very, very similar, but the German has a little bit more color 
to it. So that is a quick look at the front DAW by um, United. Again, go out to their website. They got some other plugins there as well. Maybe we'll check out some other ones. I just wanted to do this because my student passed this along to me and I thought it was something cool to look at. It's a good looking plugin um, and it's a quick, easy way to just dial in something to give your digital signal a little bit more vibes. Now I wanna thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I wanna give you a couple of free gifts. I want you to go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I wanna give you five free mixing training courses worth a couple of hundred bucks. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Also, I wanna give you a coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube25. You put that in at checkout, it'll take 25% off any one of the training courses on my website. So good, go check out Home Recording Made Easy, save yourself 25%. We have courses on recording, mixing, mastering, compression, EQ, blah, 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 blah. Everything around the home studio environment, we have a course for you. Great for beginners and intermediates, and we even have some advanced courses as well for you more seasoned home studio enthusiasts. And if, if you really wanna learn the craft of mixing in a non-technical way, perfect for beginners and intermediates, also check out what I have going on at mixingmadeeasy.net. And for a limited time, if you click the link in the description box below, I will give you 40% off an annual membership. So for less than a, the cost of a small cup of coffee a day, you can really dive in and really learn the craft of mixing and join a community of like-minded engineers and home recording musicians who are all trying to get better at the craft of mixing. So until next Plugin Review Friday, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com, mixingmadeeasy.net, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Oh,